So Dave, Wembley Stadium, what do you make of it? Unbelievable. Uh, I've been here a number of times, obviously watching England play, but you know, it's nothing like being pitch side. And you, you know, this place has got an atmosphere about it, even when it's empty. It's, it's tremendous, and it's a great uh, opportunity for the players to sort of go out and express themselves on the pitch. Also today for this media day, an opportunity to sort of see their manager maybe look him in the eye, see what he's thinking. Yeah, there's always a little bit of rivalry in there, but uh, north and south, I suppose. But yeah, no, it's going to be a good day for them as well. Obviously, it's the second time for them because they got beat a couple of years back. So. They, you know, this place is really for winners only, I would say. Um, so hopefully, you know, we'll be the winners on the day. Byron, Wembley Stadium, what do you make of it? Oh, it's amazing. It's, it's huge. I can't believe now that I'm here and I've actually seen it in person myself, like standing by the pitch, it's, it's unbelievable, massive. And all I can think about is just running on that pitch and probably blowing up after 20. You've uh, been here before, you said, to watch a watch game, but to be able to sort of be in the middle there will, will be a different occasion for you. Yeah, I watched their game uh, for Tottenham in the I come here, but I didn't really embrace it. I come here, I watched the game, I just went home, I didn't think anything of it. But now that I'm actually here, and I think I'm going to be playing on that pitch there, I just I just think it's, it's like a dream come true for me. It's unbelievable. Looking back two years ago and to, to this trip, is there anything you're doing differently or thinking about differently from, from last time around? There's a couple of things changed out of our hands, really. We've got a different dressing room to last year, a different dugout. Our supporters, our fans are going to be on the opposite side of what they were last year. So. The first time all the lads had ever seen Wembley the last time was on the day of the game. So I think the occasion got to us massively. I didn't think we'd done ourselves justice. So we've got seven of them lads still with the squad. Out of the squad of 20. So we're going to come the day before to try and familiarise ourselves with the stadium and with the surroundings. On the day of the game, uh, hopefully we'll not be as overawed as what we were two years ago. What can you remember about the day itself? When we arrived, obviously when you're walking out here and looking at the stadium itself, it's like... You just think it's unbelievable playing here because obviously some players in the Premiership won't even get you. So you try and make the most of it and when you get beat, just like it's just sickening really. Heart, your heart just drops like so hopefully this time we'll make sure we win. What would it mean if you're walking up those steps to, to claim it? Exactly, that's what, that's what I want. Obviously being a captain as well, like, I just want to lead them all up there so I'd rather be doing that than sat down there cheering them when they do it. It'd be everything to me, you know. It's everybody, every, every schoolboy's dream to you know, walk the steps of uh, up to that bit at the top up there. But uh, I've been sort of like going to the gym twice a week now to make sure I can actually get to the top of these steps as well. So, which is important. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you want to obviously go up as winners, but um, you know, like I say, you know, hopefully the best team will win on the day.